Sir, the resolution itself is very badly drafted, but it draws attention to one of the most pressing problems of this country. Full employment is an objective of every kind of economy in this world, whether capitalist, socialist, communist or mixed economy. Therefore, it is also one of our objectives. But then we are not able to find out whether we are proceeding on the road of greater employment or greater unemployment. I am afraid that thinking on this matter is today so confused and contradictory that unless we can have a rational comprehension of the whole problem, we are not likely to make any headway. Therefore, I want to define how we should approach this problem. First of all, this is not a single problem but two different and distinct problems. We should not confuse total unemployment with partial unemployment or underemployment. These are two different things that have to be dealt with in entirely different fashions but unfortunately when we speak of 15 or 9 million unemployed nobody knows how many of these are really totally unemployed and how many are suffering from seasonal or partial unemployment total unemployment is an urban phenomenon it is only in cities and towns you have people who have to work whatsoever in the rural areas it is always a case of partial unemployment or seasonal unemployment Therefore, the first thing to be done in order to solve this is, we must find out, we must devise a machinery to ascertain how many are totally unemployed and how many are underemployed. So I do suggest that every municipality in this country should maintain a register of the unemployed. Of course, we have now the labor exchanges. Unfortunately, they are not to be found everywhere and all unemployed employed do not register themselves there therefore i suggested that in every municipality there should be an unemployment register and propaganda should be done among the unemployed that they should first register themselves in the municipal register similarly i would suggest that in every village panchayat there should be a register where people will register themselves for under employment because during the harvest season there is actually shortage of labor in the villages rather than the rivers therefore there would have to be different kinds of registers to show in what seasons you want to give employment and to devise suitable employment then secondly we have to realize that so far as total unemployment is concerned the only way is to develop industries and social services the word employment is also used very loosely in the amber charkha if a man gets 40 or 60 paisa it is called unemployment that will not do we must define employment as giving him work which will give him living wages any work which does not give living wages should not be called unemployment if we have to give living wages the only way of doing it for the totally unemployed is to develop our industries and expand our social services so far as social services are concerned there is enormous scope for expansion why should you not in this country have one teacher for every 20 children why should we have one teacher for 40 children immediately we can increase the strength of teachers by lakhs but the real difficulty is we have to pay them and therefore we are now caught in a dilemma Without increase of wealth, we cannot increase the social services. Without increasing the social services, we cannot give sufficient and adequate employment for the totally unemployed in the towns. Therefore, the development of industries is essential. Without the development of industries and social services, the problem of total unemployment cannot be solved. Therefore, it is no use blaming the planning commission or anybody. Of course, some kind of temporary employment can be devised by such ways as asking the man to go and dig the high level and make it low level and give them some temporary wages but that will be only waste of scarce source resources and we shall not be solving the problem of unemployment. Therefore, a faster 
development of industry and out of the surplus proceeds of industry a quicker development of the social services is the only possible solution for total unemployment for partial employment or under employment in the villages it has to be solved in a different way intensification of agriculture is bound to increase employment for instance wherever there is single crop if we can introduce double crop the total amount of labor required will be doubled therefore conversion of single crop lands into double crop lands and providing irrigation and other facilities for them is one of the certain methods of solving this under employment Again many traditional services such as the annual repair of irrigation tanks canals etc have lapsed we must resume them i am sure they will give at least an average of 20 underemployed workers in the villages further worsening the unemployment problem in the country Mr Vice Chairman sir at the outset i must express my thanks to the honorable members on both sides of the house who have participated in the discussion on the 6th five year plan document honorable members will have very kindly appreciate that within the short time at my disposal it will not be possible for me to clarify all the points which they have raised during the course of the discussion I am going to confine my remarks to certain important aspects of the discussion though I have taken note of almost all the points which honorable members made during the course of the discussion at the outset I must also say that one of the honorable members was pleased to ask what is the purpose of having this kind of a discussion one and a half years or almost two years after the plan has started I do not know whether honorable member do recollect that my predecessor Mr Tiwari had circulated a note to all the members of the house particularly about the sixth plan framework and he expected that the honorable members will be able to send their remarks to the minister and also to the planning commission so that before the draft document of the sixth plan is prepared and finalized their views could be taken into account how many members sent this kind of information is a matter which i will have to inquire into but the exercise was gone into and now the plan was finalized in february 1981 and thereafter we have taken the earliest possible opportunity to see that the plan is discussed in both the houses Sir I am aware of the fact that the international situation and also the internal situation in which this 6th 5 year plan has been finalized will definitely have some kind of an impact on the plan document as it was prepared and how we will be succeeding in trying to avoid the adverse effects it might have on the achievement of the physical targets that we have set our ourselves at the end of the 6th 5 year plan sir there are three points which were mentioned by all the honorable ministers the first was that the plan was prepared with 1979 80 as the base year and thereafter there has been a price rise of a considerable order sir the first thing which i would like to clarify is about the inflationary trend which has set in one of the honorable members shri shankar goes a very experienced member of this house who had also been in the planning commission and knows the intricacies of how the things are being worked out has been pleased to state here that the rate of inflation is very high and added to that the balance of payments position is going to be very bad compared with the percentage that we have worked out for the sixth plan as a whole for imports for the first year the import bill has risen very high then how is this assumption going to be correct that is the point and very valid point which he raised during the course of the discussion sir he also mentioned about the honorable finance minister making his speech at kanpur wherein he seems to have made a reference that a little inflationary trend is a kind of a stimulant of the economy sir the inflationary trends we cannot view in isolation honorable shri shankar goes will definitely agree with us that there are two factors which will have to be taken into account